Welcome to FX Options University, recorded live at the International Securities Exchange, the world's largest equity options exchange. Join the industry's top trading professionals as they provide insight and strategies for trading in the currency markets using FX options. FX options are a low-risk alternative to hedging currency moves in any market condition. Uh, so that's, you know, uh, but, you know, to think about the danger of the euro going away, we're not going to wake up tomorrow and see that there's not going to be any more euro. Uh, could it be down? Yes. Uh, if you're scared, and I've been scared many times trading, I don't have a position in the euro right now, but if I did and I was scared, I might buy a put option on the EUU, even though uh, the euro is down quite a bit because you just never know how far it's going to go. Uh, and that's what trading is about, being in your comfort zone and not overextending yourself. Mike, do you mind uh, talking about the psychology of trading and being in that comfort zone and without any specifics? Oh, absolutely. Uh, one thing that I've always told people in terms of planning a trade um, if it's keeping you up at night, then I, I really wouldn't get in it. Um, we manage millions of dollars at Know Your Options, and I'm not awake at night worrying about trades, uh, just from the standpoint that if it's going to go up, this is what we do. If it's going to go down, this is what we're going to do. If it stays the same, this is what we're going to do. And that's with currencies, and that's with everything that we do. Uh, so from the standpoint of the psychological aspect of it, I think that's something that's very important is that you have the right risk management put into place. Um, in something like the euro, if you want to delve into those waters, <clears throat> the great conundrum always exists that, <clears throat> excuse me, should I just go long or short a futures contract on it and then take a guess one way or the other, but then I'm concerned with that, so maybe I should just do an FX option on it but then the volatility is too high. Well, volatility is too high, so maybe I should do some type of a, um, a, a spread of some sort. So you wrestle with that type of thing all the time. I think what the, the best thing to do if you, if you want to get delve into the euro would be to come up with a plan from the standpoint of I either think that it's going to be, it's going to either go way up or way down. I think that uh, this is the end of the euro. So I'm going to do a uh, bear put debit spread on it, or I'm going to just buy a put on it, depending on how far down you think it's going to go. Or I think everybody's crazy. I think this thing's going to come back. Then you buy a call or you buy a call spread on it. The reason that we're staying out of the euro right now is because from a neutral standpoint, we believe that volatility is too high. If we were to buy a straddle, then we don't want to pay that much premium for a straddle or a strangle for that matter. Now, do we have the courage to be naked options on the euro right now? Quite frankly, I do not. And I was talking earlier about staying up at night. If I were naked options, calls or puts on the euro right now, I don't think I'd sleep. <laughs> so <laughs> that's kind of our philosophy on how we're looking right. at the euro right now. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. <laughs> that is a very good point. You know, listen, Mike has some great insight into the markets, and he's very consistent. And know your options are consistent no matter which asset class they're looking at. They're trying to fine-tune portfolios. They try to find investors that, of course, looking for services that need uh, someone that understands options as Mike and his partner. They really understand options very, very well. So if you live here in the United States, as Mike said, he's only licensed to take clients in the United States, well, you can contact Know Your Options. For those of you that are elsewhere, Canada or Europe or Asia, well, you can listen to Mike's uh, presentations and you can sort of get a drift of what he's doing, but you probably have to implement it yourself. Mike, do you have any closing comments? Uh, just a couple of things. It, as always, manage your risk. If you're going to trade naked options, you're going to be a credit spreader, or you're going to be an option seller, understand that that premium is not guaranteed. And I know that we all hear stuff like this all the time in this business, but uh, what I've found is that there's a lot of people that don't really do it. So I want to just say it again. I hope I'm not beating a dead horse, and I pray that you actually take the advantage. Understand the risk that's involved with options. If you're selling options, respect the fact that it can go against you. And if you're buying options, respect the fact that time decay is working against you. So uh, with that, it's about risk management. The market's going to do what the market's going to do. 
And the important thing of it is just being in the right position and managing your own specific risk and customizing it to what your needs are. Well put, Mike. Very well put. I want to thank you, Mike, for putting together such a cohesive presentation. It uh, really flowed very well. And I'm sure uh, the attendee, I've got some nice comments back already, but I'm sure when I get the feedback tomorrow, it will be very, very positive. Uh, I thought it was great. And again, I want to thank you uh, because I know how much effort you put into this presentation. So thanks again. Oh, thank you. I learned from the best, and you've been a mentor to me through the years that we've worked together. And uh, it's always a pleasure to come back and work on the ISC platform. Well, we'll have you back real soon, Mike. And uh, thanks again, and safe travels if you do any traveling. I know you're pretty much at home nowadays, but um, stay safe. Will do. Thank you again for having me. Thanks, Mike. I really appreciate it. So that was Mike Tussaw. Know your options. You can go to, if you're here in the States, um, go to Know Your Options to learn more about his services. Uh, and if you're not, you can go back and listen to Mike's uh, previous presentations via archive and listen to um, different strategies that he's talked about. It's not always been about the straddles and strangles, but uh, different other option strategies. So you can go back and uh, check that out at fxoptions.com. I want to remind everyone that uh, Tomorrow I will be talking about Back to Basics. You know we have this program going on, Back to Basics, where uh, we started sort of what is an option, and now we're up to uh, FX Options Greeks. I just did pricing last week, so tomorrow is the Greeks. So that will happen at 4.30 Eastern, 1.30 Pacific. And again, if you're, if you're in Europe or Asia, probably not in the best time slot for you. But um, even uh, if you're listening to this later on, I mean, you can always go back to the archive at fxoptions.com and uh, check out the presentation. Next week we have John Yeagerson talking about timing, timing your FX options entry and exit points using Fibonacci. And then we have uh, Trading Central FX Options Trend Opinions. That will be uh, next week. Uh, so please join us. In fact, that's not going to be at 4.30. That will be at 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, because Trading Central is located in Paris, France. So again, I want to thank Mike Tussaw. Mike, thanks again for the great presentation. And I want to uh, thank all of you, the attendees. You guys make it great. Uh, great uh, questions. And uh, please fill out the surveys uh, at the end of the presentation. We, uh, I try to read all of the uh, surveys uh, because we, you know, I try to make a, invite guests that you guys would find very, very interesting, and also uh, try to uh, suggest topics that you would also find very interesting. So thanks again. On the behalf of the International Securities Exchange, this is Steve Meisinger, your host, and again, Mike Tusa, the presenter. We both wish you a great trading day tomorrow, and uh, please join us back at the IAC real soon. Take care now, uh, everyone. Bye now. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. Get trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary. Visit www.fxoptions.com. ISE FX Options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.